Hello, my name is Brandon Rolls, and this assignment will be on the historical figure Martin Luther King Jr. You may already know who Martin Luther King Jr. is, but if you haven't, Martin Luther King Jr. was a civil rights activist during during the 1960s and 50s. Um, he, he made a huge impact in, into American history and, and the social justice and racial equality we see today in America. Uh, this we this ex presentation explores his his influential and big actions that him that he brought to black people in the, in America from from events as the Montgomery bus boycott, then the march on Washington for his famous speech, I had a dream, and going through his his philosophy as as um him as a doctor how he thought about the segregation during the the uh during this time of, of America he he derives his philosophy from a lot of big names just such as Gandhi and and he he took this inspiration to inspire lots of people for generations in in the future and he, Martin Luther King Jr. himself created a huge impact for everyone in the country and throughout the world. Well, let, let's talk about, let's get to know more about uh, Martin Luther King. So his family background, he started, he grew up in Atlanta, Georgia, and he was born on January 15th, 1929. He was a deeply he was a he was a deeply a, a Baptist pastor, and knowing being known for all his sermons and his preach preaching and all his uh, gospels preaching, and he, because of his father was a pastor, so he he later followed the the footsteps of his father as as one of um of a Baptist minister, and he w was really faithful in 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 uh the christianity and he he derives all of his morals and and philosophy from from christianity and it really helped him push this huge movement for equality for black people in america and growing up he grew up in 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 like a nice in a tight small community of of uh of in his, in Atlanta with a lot of supportive he had a supportive family and and had many role models and lots of he's been immersed in the culture a lot a lot of like the black culture in in America and he was really aware of all the issues African Americans were facing in at this time in a segregated south at, which was uh black and white were just totally separated um, because of their skin color and they were treated differently. And with, with this, with living in such a, growing up in such a supportive uh, community, it, he demonstrated he was such a smart person. He, he was known for, for his knowledge and in, 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 even in segregated schools, he was, he still excelled as one of the, one of the best students in his class and academically with just academically in in um black schools he was he stood out, stood out and and he emerged from from just a uh, a small kid um from atlanta now he 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 laid he laid out his his knowledge out to the public and using this knowledge to spread this powerful movement. So let's let's go deeper into Martin Luther King's uh, education, as I was talking about, and also his ministry. Uh, when I brought up uh, about his Christianity and his faith, um, he he took many undergraduate graduate studies in for college, and he per pursued like the theology. The theological education and it he it really helped at, 
as a as growing up in a really Christian household, he pursued um, some theology in, into school and some ethics and, and philosophy, which helped shape this whole social activism that we uh, that he he's garnered um, uh, at that time. And him as a as a minister, he 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 kept um, as his upbringing from his father as as a minister uh, at his local church in Montgomery, Alabama. This he used he used this platform on his, in his church to address all this racial injustice and and advocate for civil rights in America for black black African Americans in um, in America. And this all all goes together, and and combines to each other, uh, his education and and his his faith, all intertwine and in, for in, in creating his his goal and message of providing his outlook on on the racial injustice in America through a academic level. And as a faithful le level, as he he can relate to many Christians in America, and and also academically, he he um he studies all these these philo philosophical ideas to to show how how much racial injustice is was going on at this time. So, as as a leader leader of this civil rights movement in America, uh, iconic one. He've done many, many actions to help African-American people in America go forward in America and create no more racial injustice. So he, he, he was characterized for being nonviolent. And as he was a, a, a minister, a Christian minister, his morals weren't trying to to fight people he wanted to have a peaceful outcome to have equal rights for, with white and black people and with his his faith and his faith um of uh, being a baptist minister uh, he advocate for love forgiveness and try to change social change in a peaceful way where that getting inspiration from Gandhi, which is an, a well-known peaceful activist, social activist. And he, he spoke with so much charisma. He was really passionate about creating social equality for African-American uh, in America in, in, at this time with his famous speech, I Have a Dream, back in 1963. And he moved millions of African Americans, millions of non-African Americans to clear to deliver this message that um racial inequality isn't right and it sh should everyone should be equal as as it doesn't matter what skin color you are. He was a he was a, a great organizer. As a as a leader himself, as a minister, his leadership showed showed a lot in his um as as one of the biggest names as, uh, of the civil rights movement he was a coalition builder he partnered with lots of groups he rallied groups unions civil rights protests he organized all these big protests to try to overturn this racial inequality in the united states and he he or not not only he organized all these protests they're all peaceful and nonviolent, because from his morals as a Christian minister, he's always been taught to love and forgive everyone, uh, no matter what kind of person you are. And this really helped him push his message out to the public, and showed his strong leadership as as one of the faces of this movement. So let's 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 go deeper into one of his big um big uh, events um let's um the M montgomery bus boycott this was a big boycott it was started by rosa park 
as a, arrested for sitting at the front of the bus, it, which was a white only area. And this was a protest to, to demonstrate not only you, you can stay, not only black people can only stay in the back, they can also sit in the front. Why does it matter where you are? So, um, this this Ro the Rosa Parks sparked a huge, uh, um, huge movement, um, with a a bus boycott, and as Martin Luther King himself, he organized a nonviolent protest in in Montgomery and protest uh, boycotted all city bus system, and instead of taking the bus, they'd walk. They either carpool, or find other alternative transportation to show the pro the protest, and the bus industry in Montgomery lost so much money because of the boycott, uh, started by Rosa Parks and fueled by Martin Luther King, and with this victory, this huge impact to, this huge boycott impacted, made such a message in the community. And it ultimately led to land. Uh, it ultimately went to the Supreme Court, ruling in in Roder v. Gale, which declared segregation on public buses unconstitutional, which led this boycott led the the segregation on buses to be uh, eradicated. And Martin Luther King had a had a part in this too. Another event Martin Luther King did to change a, a social justice in America is the March on Washington. This was a really well known event in history in America, and it had huge, massive turnouts, and a lot of two hundred fifty thousand people participants rallied to Washington to with to to protest this racial injustice lots of civil rights leaders at the time that um labor workers religious leaders across America all went to DC with Martin Luther King and everyone gathered around there tons thousands and thousands of people and Martin Luther King had a speech in front of DC. I had a dream speech delivered on Lincoln, the Lincoln Steps Memorial, where in in DC, and he 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 presented all his powerful wor wor words of saying, "I had a dream of one day he would he would see a world where African Americans, black and white." Whoever you are will be together equal and treated treated the same. And with this huge event, event it, it gathered a lot of people. It made a, such a strong message. A, a lot of desegregation of public schools started to happen. Some voting rights were, were getting passed. And then the Civil Rights Bill, which takes out every anything about segregation that has, it doesn't matter what if you're black or any any black or white you get to have the same same rights as everyone else in America and for just uh, previously in the Montgomery um, Montgomery bus boycott, boycott uh, here's a qu quote um, from one of the the articles at this time most blacks in Montgomery used the city buses regularly but at the, that meeting, they decided on a boycott of the buses until segregated seating on buses was abolished. Supporters of the boycott, both black and white, walked, carpooled, and bicycled instead of taking buses. Some protesters were arrested or attacked. King's house, among others, were firebombed. The boycott continued for over a year, losing so many regular pa passengers on, of, on its buses caused financial problems for Montgomery and that that explains how effective the Montgomery bus boycotts did to the local community there and it made such a, a huge message it 
it passed to the Supreme Court outruling the segregation of on, on buses. So from from Martin Luther King's um, bus boycott to the March on Washington with its I Have a Dream speech, he won many, many he l left a, a large lasting legacy. Hugely impactful. He won a Nobel Peace Prize and he was awarded at the age 35 was recognized for his his tireless efforts of of settling racial injustice in America achieving achieve achieving the voting rights act and the civil rights act in in America in 1965 and created stop the racial injustice in America and this and his 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 impact affected many people's futures we see today. Without without Martin Luther King Jr.'s um impact, we wouldn't we wouldn't see an America where everyone's treated equal and does not treated differently because of their skin color. And he left uh his work left to inspire many people to fight all the all this social future social injustice and moral bravery just against racism and and Martin Luther King vision was community sticking together um rallying everyone to fight for a good cause um helped um free racial prejudice and discrimination and it shows later on in the future with a lot of a tight Martin Luther King created a community of many people to fight many injustice throughout the country in many years. So as I was saying, a, a legacy he was he left um through the after the Civil Rights Act and the Voting Act. Sadly, Martin Luther King got assassinated on April 4th, 1968. Um, be, many, because of the Civil Rights Act, he was shot because of that. Um, some people disagreed with the Civil Rights Act. He got shot. Be, um, his leadership was always going to be remembered in American society, American history, and just the history the, the history for Amer African Americans in America, America. And through his commitment, to nonviolence as a as a, a Christian Baptist minister, and taking his philosophy of love and compassion and peaceful protest to beat social injustice and equality, and in America, he, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't exist without him. He he wouldn't uh, sh his leadership wouldn't uh, cr create the world we have today in America. The way he fights social injustice through boycotts, through inspiring speech, um, many pro protests with community leaders, his his power affected so many people, and it had extraordinary change into the into society, and we later on Martin Luther King is used as a guiding light for. For society, how equal America got got in after uh, after his um, big accomplishments, and Martin Luther King inspires generations to come in the future to to in leadership, in faith, in fighting racial injustice, and anything you you can think of. He is a a great historical figure that helped many African Americans and uh, anyone um, become a better person. And I hope you in, you enjoyed my presentation on Martin Luther King Jr. And thank you for listening.